So there are a lot of really exciting directions that I think my work can go and my colleagues can go. It's been it's a real privilege to be in the clinical neurosciences at this point in time. Uh, but what comes to mind first is we're making some good progress in what we call kind of deep, deep phenotyping of psychopathology. So for example, in our lab, which is run by Dr. Anna Zilverstein, we take um, pretty dense measurements that include brain imaging, hormonal analysis, self-report, cognitive tests over several weeks. Um, um, with a very lengthy follow-up to understand individual differences between folks with sub substance use disorders to hopefully um, inform treatment to re reduce rates of recurrence. Um, but at the same time, in a different lab, I'm, I'm thinking primarily of Emily Jacob, Dr. Emily J Jacobs at UCSB. They're working on doing very dense phenotyping um, of brain imaging across reproductive transitions, so pregnancy, menopause, some hormonal suppression, to really understand the female brain across these different transitions. So in the future, I think it would be really interesting to kind of combine these two streams of, of research to understand how, we, how brain changes across the reproductive transition can also inform addiction treatment in a very nuanced, um, comprehensive way, especially in, in women with substance use disorders. I'm really interested in understanding how we can integrate a very comprehensive understanding of social support in, in these treatment modalities. So social support is a very complex construct, um, but our brain is a social organ. So it's important, I think, to integrate social support both on an individual level, community and policy level um, into addiction treatments.